What's up guys, Hacket Dude1940 here. We are back with the Colorado Avalanche. We are at the re-sign stage. We have some uh, some big free agents here that we have to sign. Uh, we have Nail Yakupov, which is a big one. Um, is Varlamov a free agent? I'm not sure. No, he's not. Okay, so actually we don't have many big ones. Uh, we'll, just re we'll just try to do this as quickly as possible. Release these guys that we know we're not going to use. Picard actually signed him. He's got decent potential. Uh, Two-way deal for... Can I, how many years can I get him for? Three years? That's a good deal. There we go. Check Picard... Or Calvin Picard get on my team. Um, Hayda LaRoe. Let's first sign Nell Yakupov. Hopefully this guy gets somewhat of a jump in the offseason. Uh, two years... Yeah, it doesn't look like he's going to get that big of a jump. He's 21 years old, but uh, who knows. Well, you know what? Let's get this guy locked up. Five years for $3.4 million. Let's do it. Very good contract for a guy like Nelly Yakupov. Um, this herd guy. Let's just get rid of all these guys. Garboza, all the guys that we tried to, to deal away. That for some reason teams actually wanted... I hate how it does that, though, how it says, like, teams want them, but uh, when I put it in, they, they say they don't want them because of the contract. It's, it's really weird. Uh, Sheen guy, nah. Gerstein, Gerstein, get out of there. What happened? Um, anyone else? No, we really don't have any draft picks, so I know young guys. Um, we actually still have quite a bit of money left. Jan Hayda, he's a good defensive defenseman, but with two and a half stars, he could drop to like 76 overall next year. So I'm just going to release Jan Hayda. Chadler Rose, same thing. He's dropped to 76 overall, three stars. Uh, Nick Holden, we're releasing a lot of our uh, depth players, but don't worry, we can re-sign them. And we can re-sign new guys in the offseason. Jamie McGinn. A nice depth guy, three years at 1.9 is good for me. Let's make it 1.8. There we go. And now Ryan Wilson, not a bad uh, top six defense. He actually wants a two-way deal. There we go, two-way, three years. Um, wow, so very, very simple off-season signings. Not a lot of players to sign. Pretty easy. We still have quite a bit of money to go into free agency with. We got Reed Boucher for that possible first line role, but that's only one first line role taken. Reed Boucher replaces Landis Cog. We still need that other winger to go on the other side of Matt Duchesne. And also Ryan O'Reilly. That could be another deal we make because I, I don't really like two-way forwards on the top six. I don't find that they work, especially wingers. Um... Wow, Ryan Wilson rejected it. I don't want a two-way offer. You're, you're the one that wanted a two-way offer. Um, again, okay, Yakubov, Picard, yeah. Okay, so we have 17 mil. Um, I don't know why I originally he said two-way. Yeah, right there. Interest in the two-way contract. Yes, you know what? I'm just going to release some. I don't need I don't need idiots on this team. I only sign players that, you know, are somewhat... Someone have, you know, a brain. Um, okay. So we simulate in two free agency. It looks like Brendan Gallagher is a restricted free agent. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go for Brendan Gallagher. He's a like, power forward, two-way forward type player, so we don't need another one of those. Plenty of those in Colorado. New captain, I think it's pretty obvious. Matt Shane has to be the new captain. The guy... Won the Hart Trophy, the Ted Lindsay, Lady Bing, um, Art Ross. He won everything. Matthew Shane is definitely the uh, the new captain. We're going to see Ole Jokinen a free agent. Nicholas Backstrom, that wouldn't be a bad backup to sign for the playoffs in case we need him. Alright, so let's go into free agency. Let's see who's available. And look at that. Patrick Kane. Now, this guy tore us apart in round two. 
I'm looking for that right wing sniper, Patrick Kane. He, he's listed as a playmaker, but I know he scores goals. I made his shooting category 99s everywhere. Um, yeah. And we can afford him as well. Patrick Kane. Oh, man. Carl Hagelin, uh, Justin Williams. Um, I'm trying to think. We Ryan O'Reilly, that's another hole that we need to fill. And Justin Williams, that'd be a nice placeholder there. Let's get another sniper. Actually, yeah, you know what? And actually, we need defensemen because I let go of some defensemen. So that's actually something we need. Like Barrett Jackman, Kevin Klein wouldn't be bad defensemen to sign. Uh, Barrett Jackman, I really like his discipline. Kevin Klein, it's great discipline. Kevin Klein would be a good player to sign. Uh, Michael Rosaval, another Chicago guy. Yeah, I might do that. But first, Patrick Kane. I gotta do it, boys. Man, $10.9 million I'm going to have to offer. That is a big contract. Oh, man, that's a lot of money. Kane, 92 overall. You better produce, dude. You better produce. Whew. All right. My wallet's hurting. Uh, Kevin Klein. Yeah, Kevin Klein, he's that good defenseman that we wanted. Three years at 3.8. Uh, you know what? We'll see. We'll see how much we're left with after Patrick Kane signs. Any potential guys? And this guy, Lodge. Oh, this guy, Hanowski. He can turn out to be something. Two-way deal. There we go. Actually, he may not accept that because uh, I didn't offer more than what he wanted. Um... I don't know why to search eight overall. That's what I wanted to search. Jonathan Bernier is an unrestricted free agent. That's crazy. I know signing players to trade them hurts your GM rep, but that wouldn't be a bad player to sign. Uh, DiPietro, LaBarbera. Actually, you know what? You know what I'm going to do? <laughs> Actually, McCollum. Uh, no, I clicked on Boucher. McCollum, I'll sign this guy. He's, oh, wow, one-way deal. Wow, he's going to jump. Whew. I, I don't know if I can afford that. I mean, actually, that could be a, not a bad backup. What I was going to do is sign, uh, what's his name, LaBarbera, because I'd be bringing LaBarbera, Roosevelt, and Kane from Chicago. But you know what? This guy McCollum, he looks like he's going to be very good. 2.5. There we go. I guess we'll see how he turns out. Uh, we do need a defenseman, so I'm actually going to sign at least one. We're going to bring in Kevin Klein. I'm not Klein yet, actually. Um, Michael Rosaval we'll bring in. Uh, three years at two point. Two years at two point three five. There we go. Okay, so let's simulate up a couple of days. Uh, we I think we will need another defenseman. We'll see. Patrick Kane, we're stealing him from Chicago. So, Michael Rosaval, we got him signed. We got Hanowski, and we got McCollum. Patrick Kane is still out there. We still have $19 million, so yeah, you know what? We have, uh, we have plenty of room for, for other guys. Justin Williams, I'm actually going to sign this guy. Four years. Ah, I don't know if I want to give him four years. Let's do two years at 4.4. Because I can afford it, and he's going to replace Ryan O'Reilly, and I can actually tie maybe Ryan O'Reilly and McCollum in for another prospect. Um, is there any other top six defensemen I can sign? Dewey's McClements. Not really. Why aren't I searching defensemen? I don't know why. Um, the other Matt Carl. Um, Jordan Leopold. Three star. I you know what? He's not bad. 80 poise. Colorado Avalanche. They need to get a little bit older. Signed into a one year deal. 3.3 million dollars. We're adding a lot of pieces to the Colorado Avalanche. A lot of pieces.
We need to be a good team next year. I want to make sure of it. Patrick Kane was extremely happy to accept our offer. That's what you get, Kane. You beat us in the playoffs. You went and got swept by LA. How did that feel? We got Justin Williams. The Consumite Trophy winner from this year's playoffs. Okay, there we go. We still have six million. We're still waiting for a couple of guys to sign. Team rep has dropped. I don't care. Uh, extremely happy to accept your offer. We got Jordan Leopold. So now let's check out the contracts and see if there are any other things we need to do, any other holes we need to fill. I think we covered everything that we needed. Um, forwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we have twelve forwards. That's perfect. Just the right amount. Um, we could actually sign. Actually, wait. Let me actually just work this out in my head. Kane's going to be the top line right winger. And Duchesne. And then Reed Boucher. Where is he? Boucher on the left wing. Then it's going to be McKinnon in the middle. Yakupov on the right. Williams on the left. Third line is going to be Tangay. Possibly O'Reilly. Depending on what happens. Jokin. Yeah, that's where it kind of falls off. Tangay, O'Reilly. We're going to need that third line center. Well, actually. I'm going to need a third line center. Trying to work this out in my head. Actually, how do we have 12? Two, three, four. 12. We won't count Mitchell. 12. So, yeah, if we get rid of O'Reilly, we could use another depth forward. Another fourth line grinder, I think. Defenseman 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Plus Elliot, a youngster. And, of course, Siemens and Honka. So, yeah, we're good, in, we're good for defense. And then goalies, we have plenty of. Goalies, some young goalies. Alright, so Colorado, they're looking very, very nice right now. We can still use that depth forward. Um, Boyle, nah, I don't need another center. Brodziak, you could play the wing, but uh, Clement's another center. I don't think Weiss is a grinder. No, he's not. I'm looking for a grinder. Um, Chakobisu, two-way forward. Bobby Butler, he's a sniper. Now you're getting to kind of like the low overalls. Paye, two-way forward. Yeah, we're getting a little bit low now. Alright. I might sign one of these guys. Kyle Brodziak. 84, 85, 85. Clement. Yeah, I know I'm going to sign Jay McClement. He's good in the face-off circle. He can play the wing as well. Jay McClement, two years, one point. Five. There you go. We still have some cap space. Let's simulate up. Let's see if we got him. Let's simulate up to here. I won't make you guys sit through the whole simulation, but... Alright, so we're looking pretty good. If we can get McClement. GM rep, it's gone back up. Here we go, and yes, we got Jay McClement. So the team looking very nice. New additions, we got Patrick Kane, Justin Williams, Jay McClement, Kevin Klein, Jordan Leopold, that guy, that goalie, young goalie McCollum. I believe we got another young player. Many, many new additions to the Colorado Avalanche. Definitely looking a lot better for next season. Oh, and Reed Boucher was a new addition, and we're still not done. We still... Could possibly trade Ryan O'Reilly. It depends on where he might fit on our team. We could tie Ryan O'Reilly and maybe a first round pick in for another young prospect. Who knows? Um, we do have a couple of prospect goalies. We could probably be trade probably trade one of them. Yeah, so. So something here in August. But yeah, I have high expectations for the 2015 16 season here with the Colorado Avalanche. I mean. Every spot is full, and, and the top six is looking very nice. We have two amazing centers with four sniper winners. You know, no two-way forwards, no more power forwards, all snipers. And then the bottom six is all grinders and two-way forwards.